Hello, warriors. I hope you guys all had a wonderful Easter weekend. I know that I did and that you were in remembrance of what God did for you on the cross and how he has set you free. It's not just something that we should be doing on Easter. We should be doing that every day. It's part of what he was talking about in the Bible when he was talking about communion, how uh, we do it in remembrance of him whenever we do it. And that can be, uh, that could be daily. We can... It's not something that a priest or a minister or your pastor has to preside over. You can do that at your home, you know, with him, worshiping him. It is a form of worshiping, remembering him, what he did on the cross. That was just a little bit of an aside. But today I'm here to jump in um, and uh, paraphrase, basically. I'm going to paraphrase Psalms 4. Um, and David, most of his life, he had enemies so against him and they were always against him and here he's this is a prayer basically before he's going to bed at night um, or while he's laying in his bed and he said and he's saying again this is going to be paraphrasing but uh talking about his enemies how long are you guys going to be against me the lord has set me apart the godly he set the godly apart and he hears and responds when we call out to him for help so i can trust in that and when I lay in my bed at night, I'm in awe and in fear of him. Um, and I'm in meditation and I am reflect reflecting over my day, uh, going over in, in my mind um, uh, over things that I've done throughout the day and in repentance if I need to be. Um, and judging myself because we are to judge ourselves so that we're not judged. Um, and making sure that I'm in right standing with God and putting my trust in him because that's what we should always be doing we were in, we just completely put ourselves in trust in him and the godly ungodly are always looking to see good in their lives but they're not seeing it um, but show the shine your face on on me Lord show the ungodly how good you are Set me up so that they can see all the blessing in my life and know it's because of you. Basically, it's like Psalms 23 talks about the preparing a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. You know, showing them how good God is. Um, and you have given me more joy than the ungodly when they have abundant harvest. Our joy is in the Lord all the time. Whether we're, you know, in feast or in famine, we always have that joy. And uh, we sleep in peace at night and because we're trusting that he keeps us safe. And all of the things, we don't, we're not worrying because we know that the Lord is our strong tower. We are able to sleep at night not worrying about the things that are going out there in the world. Worrying about, you know what's going to happen tomorrow and all the things that go on in our lives because we know that the, our Lord and our Savior has got us basically seeking first the kingdom of God and all of these things shall be given to us because we put him first in our lives and we trust in him. So I hope that uh, you found that helpful today and I'll see you guys again on Psalms 5.